Gravel bikes are becoming so popular. And as a mountain biker, I wonder why. Why do people take a bike that looks like a road bike and then go ride it off road? Just take your mountain bike. <laughs> so today I'm launching a full on investigation to see what's all the hype about. Why is everyone riding a gravel bike? So this is a Polygon Bend V9X, and as a mountain biker, this is like my dream gravel bike, but let me build it up and show you why. So I don't know if you saw that, this bike comes with a wireless shifter, GX Access, but it's not the only thing that's wireless on this bike. It comes with a wireless dropper too. So I know I've gotten a lot of new bikes lately, but this one's a little bit different. I'm demoing this bike. Cause you know, I've, I've never tried gravel before. I don't even know if I'll like gravel bikes. Yeah, they're really popular right now, but when I saw that this bike came out with a suspension fork, wireless dropper, wireless shifting, and it comes stock with 50 millimeter tires. I thought, man, I really gotta try that thing. So I reached out to Polygon and they agreed to send me this bike for three months and maybe I'll have the option to buy it later on. Oh, there's also uh, carbon rims, I guess, 24 millimeter internal width. This thing is crazy and it retails for $33.99. Definitely like one of the most fancy bikes that Bikes Online offers. But one thing the website does not mention is the weight. So I'm just gonna weigh it on my scale here. 25.2 pounds and that's with tubes in so let's fix that but real quick i got a new drone the hover air x1 this video is sponsored my other drone is out of commission right now and i crashed it so i'm going to try out this ultra light fully autonomous drone with cages around the propellers to protect them it has a gimbal for stabilization and can shoot hdr up to 2.7k resolution at only 125 grams it's small enough to fit in your pocket and the battery life is up to 11 minutes of flight time which doesn't sound like a lot but my dji drone flies for about 20 minutes at double the weight and double the cost there's five different modes and i'm pretty excited to use the follow mode later on while riding and there's even a hover mode so you can get it up high and make it like a tripod. After using it for a little bit, I really like it because you don't have a remote, you don't gotta fire up your phone, it just takes off from your hand and then you just put your hand out, boom, lands. So if you like drones or recording epic footage of yourself on the trail or you know going on some trips, I'll have a link in the description for the Hover Air X1 and keep an eye out later in the video for the footage from this drone. All right, let's see where we're at now, going tubeless. I have pedals on and I actually swapped out the cassette to an XX1 cassette because with the demo, maybe sending this bike back, I want it to look as good as new when I send it back. So let's see what this thing weighs. 25.2, all right, it's the same as before. But now it's time to go ride this thing. Here it is, my first stretch of gravel ever. Oh yeah, pretty smooth. So 
I know this is my first gravel experience, but dude, this bike is so smooth. Like this fork and the big tires and everything, I can barely feel anything through my hands. And this bike is so fast, dude. I'm cruising like 15 miles an hour without even, I mean, my heart rate's like 120. This thing is awesome. I guess here in uh, Northwest Arkansas, there's some of the best gravel like in the world. People visit from all over and call it hero gravel. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I have it good or not. I mean, I didn't even know this was like a mile from my house. This is awesome. <laughs> So I'm about halfway through and I just realized that I don't really have gravel clothing or like a road bike clothing. So I'm dressed kind of funky right now, but I mean, I'm out in the, the country right now. I mean, who's gonna judge me? There's no one out here. And this is, I guess what gravel is all about. Like it is so cool seeing this part of Arkansas that I would have no clue. I would have no business being out here. And it is freaking awesome, man. I hit one kind of sketchy part where my front end got a little nervous with the gravel, but it's because uh, my fingers weren't firmly around the hoods. I kind of just had my fingers just like that, and I need to be like that. So one thing to remember, but this gravel is so smooth. And dude, we're in December right now. Like this is amazing condition. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we got another downhill. Man, this road is so blue groove. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, well, I'm almost done with my ride. Hour and 20 minutes, 20 miles. I mean, I was moving. This bike is fast, man. Oh, and about the sizing. I'm not used to road bikes. I don't know anything about road bike geometry. So I just chose a medium because I'm five foot nine and it fit me pretty good. I might want a longer stem though, but overall this thing fits amazing, super comfy, super great pedaling position. And remember, I'll have a link for this bike in the description and any bikes purchased through Bikes Online Affiliates helps out the channel a lot. I mean, this is awesome getting out exploring, but dude, I got chased by so many dang dogs, but tomorrow, I'm gonna take this bike to single track and I wanna see how it does on single track. As a mountain biker, I gotta know if I can jump it or maybe do some drops. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, made it out to my local trail, Kohler. And I wanna see how this gravel bike works on single track. I mean, can I hit this 12 foot drop? <laughs> I don't know. It would be kind of sketchy. Ugh. Let me warm up on some uh, flow trails first and then I'll see if I can do any kind of drops. All right, let's feel this bike out on this flow trail first. Let the dropper down. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Oh, the seat gets in the way so bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is getting scary. Ah, <laughs> I want to slow down. I feel like a noob. All right. So here's the question. Do I do drops or not? Whew. This thing did not feel that great on flow trails. I mean, the front bias is crazy and it just does not have that Ah, that maneuverability and, and the seat feels really high. I don't know about hidden drops on this thing. The, the thing that worries me the most is this rear triangle has a really skinny tubing. And it's, I got Jared behind the camera. He works for Bikes Online. So Jared, what would happen if I snap this frame right now? I mean, you break it, you buy it. Uh, that makes sense to me. But okay, I'm gonna start with this small drop. It's like three, four, five feet, something like that. And I'm just gonna say, this is not the intended purpose of this gravel bike. And uh, don't try this at home, but let's, uh, let's do this. Just down real quick though. All right, that should help a lot. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I hit this all the time and I should not even be looking at it. I should just hit it. This was a bad idea. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, that was scary. Ah. <laughs> Man, I, I don't, I don't want to hit anything more sketchy than that. That was kind of scary, but uh, this gravel bike is fun. I, I do think I want to keep this gravel bike and just grind out some miles. And one thing I will say is uh, this is going to be my last video for the year. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to be back January 28th. So I'm going to pretty much take off all of January, have like a solid six weeks off, and uh, just kind of enjoy all my bikes right now and get really fit and maybe just maybe i'm gonna make a second channel devoted 100 percent to training to fitness so uh keep an eye out for that notification i'll uh i'll post it on my page but uh thanks for all your support this year happy holidays i'll see you on the next one